Here she comes. Shaky Mavis, our tea lady. You got a sock, son. I oh, know. One blue one and one red one. Eh, uh, taint right. Why? Should be matching. Anyone knows that. Says who? Me. What you need is a good woman. That's the last thing I need, Mavis. Uh, you don't go out in odd socks. Not in Smedic, anyway. Oh, does it matter? Of course it matters. Got to be matching, ain't they? People would look and point. Oh, let them point. I like me odd socks. Oh, well, I never sent my Jack out in odd socks. Not once. Not even when he went up the allotment. Always got his socks in Marks and Spencers, you know. No point skimping on socks, I say. Where would the world be if we all went out in odd socks? Oh, more colourful, I should think. Ah, uh, I still say it ain't right. Makes you look sort of lived in. I am lived in. I'm comfortable with it. Oh, well, you could do with a spruce up. Really? Yes. Look at your hair, for starters. Well, what's wrong with it? Look at the way it hangs down. Looks like the life's gone out of it. Hmm. So back and sides is what you want. Well, it isn't. It is. You'd look miles better with it all trimmed up. White shirt, freshly starched, nice blue suit. Look good on you. Maybe some winkle pickers. Well, it's in the fifties, you know, Mavis. Hmm, oh, more's the pity. You couldn't hold a candle to my Jack when he went out of an evening. Trousers all pressed, hanky in his top pocket. Shoes so shiny you could see your face in them. He used to lean against the bar in the working men's club. And he looked apart. I wouldn't have let him out looking the way you do. Oh, oh thanks for that, Mavis. Oh, just saying, it's because you're on your own. Well, I like being on my own. It brings a lot of benefits, Mavis. Such as? Well, if I want to my bicycle in the kitchen, I can. No one tell me otherwise. Oh, well, no good will come of that. Mark my words. Why? The rot sets in, see? What rot? Bet you don't wear a vest, neither. A vest? Who wears those now? Mm, don't tell me. Everyone in Smedic. I've got to, haven't you? You'd catch your death without a vest in Smedic. But you know, I knew a man once who went out without a vest, caught pneumonia, and died. Crikey. He was only going to the corner shop for a packet of polos and all. Killed right over, there on the pavement. Gone. Never got his polos, neither. Well, it could have been something else. Oh, vest. He weren't wearing one. That's what happens. Uh, well, what's on the trolley today, then? Cheesecake. Made fresh this morning. Is it any good? Mm, bit sloppy, but it tastes all right. OK, well, I'll have a dollop of that, then. Any sandwiches? Beef rolls. Uh, I'll take me chances. One of those two. Got some fig rolls. Homemade? No, out of a packet. Co-op. Bit dry, cos I opened them yesterday, but they're all right. Uh, well, just one. I don't want to overdo it, do I? Tea? Oh, yes. Tony Blair never wore vests, you know. No? No. And look what happened to him. Well, what did happen to him? He went white-haired, overnight. Well, that was stress, surely. Oh, mm. that and living with that sherry Blair, I shouldn't wonder. You could fit eight Jaffa cakes sideways in that mouth of hers. Well, maybe she doesn't like Jaffa cakes. All the same, if more people wore vests, the world would be a better place. You take my advice. Wear a vest. One that tucks in proper. Not those ones that show you midriff. And find a nice girl to settle down with. Someone who knows how to make a good hot pot. Well, I don't like hot pot. Well, I'm not wearing a vest either. I'd get too hot, Mavis. Well, don't say I didn't tell you. One day you'll keel over like that man did. And you won't be laughing then. Enjoy your tea.